so um, penetrating keratoplasty is basically a full thickness corneal transplant. It's been around for a very long time and um, it's one of the most commonly performed transplants in the world. And the published results in the United States have been very good. Um, they talked about, uh, they published about a 90% survival rate of the, these corneal transplants at five years, which is very good and very high. Um, when we say survival, it means the transplant is doing well, the patient's seeing well, generally. Um, but in our clinical experience, we were finding that might not necessarily be the case. Um, so what we decided to do is look at a big database of medical claims data. Um, it's a commercial database from all of the uh, big th commercial pairs and uh, we were able to look at medical coding and then look at the patients who had gotten this type of transplant and follow them over time. And we looked at which patients failed and we found a very different percentage. We were actually looking at more of a 78% survival rate at five years instead of 90. Um, this parallels the findings of other countries like Australia um, that have a graft registry in which there's like a centralized database where all of these surgeons can publish their results, which we don't have in the United States. And so this big like 12% difference in survival at five years I think was really interesting because it shows that these transplants are maybe not as successful as we thought in the US. And then also what tends to happen in a lot of published studies is that people tend to make publish the results that they like, like they're not going to necessarily put in all the failures or all of the people sort of getting it. And so I think this, um, this study uh, sort of I think will make people think a, a little bit harder about doing these transplants and educating the patient when they're um, getting the surgery to let them know that here's what our average survival rate is, but let's say you have a younger patient, you might not necessarily want to jump to do the transplant as soon as possible versus an older person who might, you know, do well. <laughs>